Happy NASCAR Day. Ooh, you know what that means. NASCAR Unites. Where is it? Come on. Oh. Wrong year, baby. Don't worry, I got this year's. What does this mean? It means I spent money on trinkets. No, I think a portion, and you know what they mean when they say a portion. A portion went to some worthy cause. I don't know what hot disease we're worried about this year. Let's see. Uh, they're not going to tell me. They just want me to go to nascar.com slash unites to learn more. Or to scan this QR code. I wonder if you'll actually do that. I'll bet it takes you to nascar.com slash unites. So if you really don't want to type that in. It's always nice to see what damage my arm has done to the inside of the band. Not much. Do you think it's a... Ooh, look at this one. Dark blue on the inside, in addition to the ear. There's that. There's that URL again. So, do you think um, it's good for you to have plastic around your arm for your entire life? I used to wear watches all the time, though. I used to have a watch on each wrist, solely for the purpose of people asking me, "Hey, why do you wear two watches?" Also, because my wrists are still, even after all this time. No matter how fat I get, I still have the skinniest wrists in the world. Isn't that interesting? No. So we're going to do this bad boy. I don't know. Put it right here. Put my hair in it. Happy Friday. I forgot to stop my start watch. I also forgot to start my stopwatch. Here's to you. Apparently I'm a little low on caffeine today. It's not that I'm low on caffeine... So much as I've been low on sleep, I stay up way too late when I'm by myself. And it's not like I'm doing anything productive. It's just that I don't have someone reminding me that I really should be going to bed so that I can wake up in the morning. So I'm really tired. And it doesn't help that when you get home, you end up taking that involuntary 15 minute nap, which means, yeah, you probably could stay up till 5 a.m. if you wanted to, because you got that 15 minute nap out of the way. But it's currently 644, and the current temperature is 88 degrees. Today, it hit 93. I don't know if that's a record, but it's definitely the hottest it's been all year. And the thing about it getting hot outside is somehow that causes the air conditioner to work overtime. And this particular office is one of the frostiest offices in the place, and I can't change it. I don't have access to the thermostat, and in truth, the thermostat doesn't actually perform any function other than aesthetic. So yesterday, even though I had two layers on, that baseball jersey was awfully comfortable. And today, the, the bare parts of my arms are chilly. And I could put my lab coat on, but why bother? I should just get out of here and go home. Problem is, it's going to be really hot at home. I'm not looking forward to that. So, I don't know. I may have to stop on the way home and stall. I do want to watch the Camping World Truck Series race, though. So. That's how you celebrate NASCAR Day. You watch the truck race. The all-star race is tomorrow. Got big plans for front row motorsports, baby. Reagan's in the race. Gilly's going to race into the race. And so is Josh Wise. Why not? Dream big. More importantly, what is this? What is this? Oh, what is this? It's a package from Jay Kalen. We were talking about Canadian foodstuffs. And this inspired Mr. James to spend twenty three eleven on postage for a declared value of fifteen worth of I love it. Candy and chips. So let's see, that's an investment. Not that I believe the declared value. You always lie on those customs forms, right? Although it does say gift. Thirty eight Canadian dollars. That translates to roughly 400 American dollars. So James has really made an investment. And now we're going to see 
what's in here in this Canadian Post Post as Canada box. Assuming I find my scissors. And James sneezed in the box. And now I've caught Canadian flu. All right. Come on, man. I see something that looks like knockoff Cheetos. Cheesies. Hawkins Cheesies. 80 grams. 80 grams? I have no idea what that means. How many is that? This looks like another bag of cheesies. Wow. These look incredibly orange, and they would really make your hand orange. I'm guessing. Yes! Wow! I didn't even know there was a tiny version of Coffee Crisp. Go, grab, go, share. I ain't sharing with nobody. These will be gone before the, my wife comes home. Mmm, yes. Thanks, James. <laughs> the infamous ketchup flavor lays. I, I still believe you could probably get these somewhere. I don't know. And I want you to know, it's not real ketchup. It's sim it's simulated ketchup. Simulated flavor. Savour simulé. Potato chips. Crustiez. Must be Canadian for potato chips. Uh oh. Now these we were talking about. Roast chicken. I'm frightened. Wow. Is it just me? Or does that freshness date correspond to a time that has already passed? Made the week of March 10th, fresh until May 15th, perhaps? I hope you got these on sale, James. These are good until the 22nd, so I better eat those chicken ones first. Interesting. I guess in Canada, potato chips have a two-month shelf life. I'll bet that shelf life is a lot longer in America. And here are some Smarties. These are not American Smarties, by the way. I wonder if I still have some American Smarties for me to show you by way of comparison. Wow, there's so much stuff in here. But now I'm obsessed with finding some American Smarties. I had some. I, I Someone who came in here and went through my candy jar... No, they ate all the Smarties. I was afraid of that. I can't show you. But these look more like Spree. And American Smarties are more very tiny, uh, tart, sweet tart kind of. I'll have to show you someday. What else we got? Because my time's almost up. These feel like bars. It's crunchy! Ah, that's that's the stuff, man. Yeah, buddy. Oh my gosh, I should have opened the stuff earlier. I could have been eating it all day. And another bag of Lay's looks like. <laughs> I'm a little frightened. It's like, is it supposed to be like poutine but without the cheese? Fries and gravy. Potatoes sauce. And here's one more. It's some Runkles. And they are they are not naked. They are all dressed uh, with what? Pepper, onion, and oil? Is that what that's supposed to be? Um, did you know that Ruffles have ridges? Even in Canada, premium ridges on Ruffles potato chips help create the ultimate flavor experience. Yeah, but what flavor is it? Canada's favorite ridge potato chip. Ridge for my pleasure. Seasoning. Yeah, it doesn't help at all. Huh. Well, these are good until June, so we're not going to find out for a while. So i got to parcel these out. First, got to hide this stuff so nobody else eats it. Thank you, James, very much. And we will commence the sampling, well, starting next week, because I think my 10 minutes are up. I had no idea that was going to happen. But I guess next week video, next week's videos sponsored by Canadian James. Thank you, and I hope that I will have uh, appropriately 
appropriate reactions to these foodstuffs? Yes, when I make it. So, uh, didn't think we'd end the week on a cliffhanger, but so we have. We'll be back Monday with more of this and other stuff. Thank you for watching. I'm Chris Zimmerman. Did you know that? Probably. If you're watching this and don't know who I am by now, I don't know what to tell you other than I love you and I will see you next week, God willing.